Oh, yeah. And we all know that uh, it's important to book travel early, but it's uh, never been more important than now. Right. And, I mean, you know, ticket prices are going up because the price of fuel is going up. Mm -hmm. We're all paying more at the pump, and the airlines are paying more at the pump, too. They've got to pass those costs on to us. Now, in addition to, to higher fares, we're encountering higher fees. Everybody's paying fees now to check bags oh. for meals, to get special seats on planes. Well, nickel and diamonds for everything. Now. Yeah. There are some ways to get around it, though. There are two airlines that do not charge for uh, check bags. That's JetBlue and Southwest, both of which fly into Chicago. You also should look to your credit cards. Credit card companies are now offering special deals to some of their higher spending uh, members, like the American Express Platinum Card now gives you two hundred dollars a year to help cover costs such as these uh, higher fees. I did not know that. And something else I didn't know is I was looking through your notes here. Uh, the best deals are on Tuesday after three. That's right. Online. Right. When you're when you're looking to book tickets, usually Tuesday afternoon is a good time because that's when the airlines, they've kind of tested over the weekend to see whether or not the fare sales they put out there are, are taking you know, hold or not. And if they aren't, then Tuesday morning is when they start lowering fares again. And, and by Tuesday afternoon, you can probably find some pretty good some pretty good deals. Another good idea is to get on online right after midnight if you want to stay up that late, because that's the time when a lot of, uh, of the uh, Online travel agencies, if the if the if the passenger has yeah. not decided to take the trip, they go ahead and unload that inventory, and some good deals will pop up right after midnight. This sounds like a free for all. <laughs> it, it is a free for all. Really yeah. uh, also, uh, and I've done this a few times. Look outside your immediate area. Say, try flying out of a smaller airport. Yeah, well, in Chicago, definitely, you know, mm -hmm. consider flying out of Milwaukee. You can fly. I'm, I'm from San Francisco. It's a lot cheaper to fly. Uh, between Milwaukee and San Francisco, and this Chicago and San Francisco. I actually did that a month ago. It seemed to work out okay, but when the flight, the return flight to Milwaukee was canceled because of a mechanical <laughs> problem, then I had to fly to Chicago. The bag wound up in Milwaukee. So, but it is a good idea, and and, and it does work. Yeah, you know, speaking of San Francisco, you guys have a new airline in town. Uh, Virgin America just started service yesterday. I'm flying home on them this afternoon. That that's really uh, helped lower fares to the West Coast from yeah. from Chicago. So I mean they're not cheap. It's three or four hundred dollars a summer, but in the scheme of things, um, it's it's not that bad. Now Virgin out of Midway or are they out of O'Hare? Virgin's out of O'Hare. And what's really interesting mm -hmm. is that United, you know, they don't like someone coming in and in their own backyard with a new upstart airline. They've added, they have 17 flights a day now between uh, Chicago and San Francisco as a result of this. Virgin America's got three. Oh, good. Wow. Uh, okay, so you got some advice for international travelers as well this yes. summer. Uh, yeah. With regard to credit cards, right? Well, um, international travel has gotten very, very expensive, um, and it's because the, the the dollar has become very weak. So you're paying a lot more when you get over sure. to Europe. The least expensive countries in Europe to deal with now are what we what we call the pigs countries: Portugal, Ireland, Greece, and Spain are the least expensive countries for Americans this year. Now, when you talk about credit cards, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that credit cards now charge what are known as foreign transaction fees. So every time you buy something overseas, they charge an extra 3%. That's new, isn't it? Because it, I always deliberately used a credit card to avoid that. Right. Well, it's it's not really new, but what's new is that the Credit Card Act that passed last year now shows on a, on a specific uh -huh. line item on your bill what that fee is. Now, some credit cards have removed that. The American Express mm -hmm. Platinum Card, which I carry, Got rid of it, so I'm saving 3% right off the top every single time. Good idea. Chris McGinnis, thank you so much. Uh, if you want more information, uh, you can get it from his site. Go to TravelSkills.com. If you want a link to that or if you missed this segment, you can re-watch it right here on WGN.